My name is Kweku Tume. You're welcome to our world of business. And this afternoon, we talk about the agri sector and how it can be enhanced as we move directly to the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. We'll be giving you some updates from the finance world as well. Now, let's move straight to business. As the Minister of fin Food and Agriculture, Fifi Kweti, has debunked assertions that government has suspended the fertilizer subsidy program for farmers. He told TV3, although government is facing financial difficulties which had delayed the program, that will not compel them to halt the exercise. Two months now, farmers have raised concerns about fertilizers in short supply. This has compelled the sector minister, Fifi Kweti, to pay a working visit to various local production companies. The minister visited Chemico, one of the oldest and largest fertilizer production companies in Tema. The over 50-year-old company produces a variety of fertilizers which are sold to Mofa for the subsidy program. We are just about entering into the northern season now. And if, therefore, it means that between uh, now and the next uh, weeks, a lot more of those products will be made available to our brothers and sisters who are operating also in the transitional zones in the Bronga Hafo and up to the north. It shows that the fertilizer subsidy program is definitely on course. Uh, our farmers, therefore, need to rest assured that uh, government has not at all forsaken them. Uh, even though it's delayed a bit, it's better late than ever, and therefore, we can assure them that they could reach companies like Chemical and uh, a few other companies that have remained through the, the, the difficulties. Managing Director of Chemical, Kojo Donko, assured farmers of enough stock. All you've seen here is not what we have. In terms of storage facility, we have invested in 70,000 ton capacity in Kumasi for warehousing of products. So a lot of the products that are going into the, into the uh, subsidy program are not what you've seen here. Most still stay in agric business and here subsistence tilapia fish farmers at Akuse say the high cost of feed and interest rates by some banks have thrown them out of business. The farmers again accuse some commercial fish farmers of contributing to the applied. Fish resource provides over 60% of protein needs in the country. Most fish farmers along the Volta Lake at Akuse, Kajanya, Domeliam, Achiavanya, Asutrare have abandoned their cages. One can count over 200 cages on the stretch at Pong, yet less than 50% are active. At Kajanya, all cages have been taken out of the river. The farmers claim four years ago, one needed 8,000 CDs as capital and reap a double fold. Currently, one needs over 40,000 CDs to start and may even lose in the end. Aside the high cost of feed, the interest rates, bad seed of fingerlings, and poor pricing by market women also amount to their worry. The foreign investors don't struggle for loans. I don't know why, but with the local people when we are going for loan, we struggle a lot before we get the loans. The interest rate too is high, and with fish farming, the government should see to it. Some farmers tried producing their own fingerlings, but the load shedding did not allow them. Others also produced their own feed. There's no hope. There's no hope for the industry, because even the big, big farms that we know, like this U.S. group of companies, for instance, is also gone down. National Fish Brigade, for instance, is also gone down. And other big, big farms. Gideon Tetelomote has been fishing for five years in Achiavanya. Only four out of the 22 cages are currently active. He tells us each cage takes at most 7,000 fingerlings, which needs 20,000 Ghana CDs worth of feed to mature in six months. The only difference between a foreign feed and a local feed is that uh, you are assured of some quality. Almost all fish feed dealers in the town have closed down. If you're just joining us, we're coming to you live from Adesanwe. We're staying with our Greek and here. Farmers at Derma and its surrounding communities in the Bonoahafa region have expressed concerns over their inability to transport farm produce to the market due to the deplorable road network in the area. The lamented customers are taking advantage of the situation to offer them low prices 
for their produce. The only means of transport are trucks and tractors, which sometimes get involved in accidents. As a result of the bad roads, commercial drivers are compelled to charge exorbitant fares. Farm produce is left to rot on the farms. According to farmers, they sometimes have to employ people to carry foodstuffs from the farm gate at a huge cost. A farmer, George Amankwa, appealed to government to reshape the road. This particular area, we have cash crop here, but a road leading to the urban center is not good. So we are pleading to the government for, for, for him to intervene and then do the road for us. All right, so that's all we have for you in business very shortly. Joel Echampom will be coming through here. Some latest updates from our world of sports.